Now, a new study in the journal Evolution and Human Behavior says Americans make racist assumptions based on people's names. Now, this, of course, made us think about the viral video that listed <laughs> the 60 most ghetto names. And here are their top 10. My boys. United States of America, Liqua, Alejandra, King Kong Quisha, Crab Chicken Nisha, Kala Greniqua, Greg Drankisha, Africa Nisha Niqua, Kashida, Natanyana Bova Nashria Niqua Nikolis, <laughs> Court. Just to, just to bring it back, can we take back races and say discriminatory? Because I think that's a better word. <laughs> yes, it is a much better that's word. That's a better word. And I am very discriminatory against words like the ones that they were saying in those names. I'm not about to hire you if your name is Watermelon Andrea. It's just not going to happen. I'm not going to hire you. Not that's not your fault. That's not their Kong fault. <laughs> I would be such a beautiful King Kong Quisha, by the way. Yo, welcome to Under the Influence Cocktails and Consciousness. This is a critical thinking platform where we discuss issues that are important to the black millennial and some issues not so important. As we know, those issues sometimes are tough, so we handle them with a cocktail. I am your host with the very most, Caleb, and joining me on this beautiful day in Chicago is the lovely Ivory. Hi. Yeah, so we out here, man, on the uh, 63rd Street Beach, out here on the lakefront. Chicago. It's uh, about 75 degrees. It's kind of beautiful out here. We got some cocktails, of course. We got some chicken. We got some catfish. We got some shrimp. We out here having a, <laughs> ha having a, day, having a good time. And onion rings, damn it. We having a good time out here, right? Very but, ethnic. Yeah, very ethnic. <laughs> but, you know, uh, you know when you, get, when you get that going, you get the cocktails and the good food going, you get to think about shit. And so right now we think about what? That's so raven. <laughs> <laughs> That's so raven. Now, if you, if you didn't get the, uh, didn't get that that hint, what we're talking about is Raven Simone, who is the former cuddly, red bone childhood star. Uh, she played on the Cosby Show. She played on Hangover, Mr. Cooper. She grew up and had her own show. That's so raven. When she kind of blew up, blew up as in. Uh, Physically, you know, she kind of gains weight and put it on, and she uh, got her own show, oh and, my God. and that's what happened. But uh, you know, I, I, Ivory's not okay with me saying that. No, and she's not okay with that because you know I understand she's like you know, you know, all women are. I dig that. I dig that whole thing. But I'm discriminating. I'm picking and choosing. Well, I'm going to discriminate with Raven Simone because she has sold out the whole black community. So I feel like to nitpick on her is okay. You know what I mean? So let's go down a list of things. She is lacking melanin. I mean, I know people, a lot of people are like, oh, light skin still in. No, it's not. So she's lacking melanin for one. She is overweight for two. She is gay for three. Now, that's not a bad thing. Now, it's not a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing because none of that that you named is a bad thing. And I don't think that it's. it's their physical attributes like I mean if you want to if you feel a way about you know what she said I think that you use your intellect and have um, a response that is it has a little bit more like let me give you a throwback rule let me give you a throwback rule a throwback rule especially with the dozens and stuff like that is you don't bag on things that people can't change but you can bag on things that they can't change and all the things I, I named, she can change. You talking about her black and melanin? No, she cannot change that. Okay, all right, fine, I mean, fine, fine. like what? She can go tan, but damn it. But hey, but look, you're right. But she can change the fact that she is overweight, and she can change the fact that she has chosen to live her well, life. Okay, I just want to talk about what she said. All because, right. Because like that's just irrelevant and really like shallow and like small thinking. And I am not a small thinking person, oh, so God. let's move forward. Right. Well, look. People can't change their damn names. And that's what she was talking about. She was talking about the fact that the black community, and I guess the mothers, because the mothers, are, I feel like they name most of the, the children. And the fathers, those fathers who are named their children, that she basically didn't like the fact that we're creative. Now, I say creative because, you know, it takes, our names are not traditional names, but again, we aren't traditional people. I mean, hell, what the, what the hell is tradition? But what she has decided to do, 
is say, hey, you know what? I'm not going to uh, Basically, it was a clip that was on our show, The View. And they they showed people and, you know, the job process of, you know, the colorful names they come up with. And she basically said, you know what? I'm not name. I, I'm not hiring La La Fisha or some shit. And it was some name that literally. La La It was some shit that looked. La La Anisha or something. Think about that. With the, with the um. Let's see what she said. She named Watermelon B. I don't know no damn water. I know a lot of Shakitas. Oh, I don't know a lot of Shakitas. No, 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 no. Let me, okay, let me just pause and let me give the real context behind it. You better, because I'm going in. Because you don't even know clearly what happened. Like, so the topic, they do have topics. The topic, one of the topics was there is actually a person, a woman in um, our country who is named with the pretext Watermelon Nisha or it's Watermelon Whoa. something. So, what, basically, Raven Simone had the same reaction you had. Honestly, so while you're going in on her, you you have a level of shock. And but it like, wasn't a shock like, oh, fuck that, she shouldn't get no job. It was a shock like, damn, well. But that that's because, like, you're able to, like, see it from the point of view of, like, the fire that Raven Simone is under for saying it. But, like, if you have a conversation with somebody and you going on a rant not not offending get it all because i definitely have uh my opinion about it, which i'm going to express but if you're going on a rant about it it's your first time hearing a name you will, i mean most people are probably gonna slip up and say like oh what the hell you know which is a deep-rooted problem that we all have in terms of being uh institutionalized and, and believing that like things should be a certain way so my problem with it is that like she is a person and she's proven that to go on a rant and let things come out of her mouth without processing it first, no without, without thinking before you say it. And she's doing it in on a platform that millions of people hear her See, every day. So she could do it. Reckless. Why can't I do it? You're getting mad at me right now for going on my rant. I mean, she did this shit in front of millions of people, and it was at least because mine. I'm mad it's calculated. Her shit is like ha 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 ha. It look like Mean Girls, no, 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 it's like a no. fucking episode of I'm Mean not Girls. Giving, I'm not excusing them, I don't like what she's doing either. I think that both are really like, it's ignorant. Anytime you, you do something without full knowledge or you say things without full knowledge or full experience of what you're about to say, that is a level of ignorance. Like you never want to speak on something when you don't have knowledge behind it to back it up. Well, so you don't think she has knowledge on like creative names? No, no, no. She said her name is Raven She Simone. was saying an opinion. She was giving an opinion, but the knowledge, the lack of knowledge that she is possessing, is the fact that like that is discriminatory to tell somebody or to say you won't hurt somebody based on their name without getting to know who they actually are. That is, it's really basic. It's basic thinking, and it's discriminatory. And on top of that, she clearly her whole being is someone that is is that of an alternative life a lifestyle. She her name is unique. Clearly, it's very ethnic. Raven Simone. And I love her name. It's a beautiful name. And but I'm almost sure that you know her name is on the resume that people would feel a way about her too. And I'm I'm curious to know how she would feel about that. That's number one. Number two, she dons hairstyles and clothing that is very you know different and unique. And sometimes it, it looks nice, and sometimes you know it's not my personal taste. But she does something that's different, and I'm sure people judge her on face value based on that so you know i wonder how she feel about that number three she is a woman who has come, came out and expressed her being a lesbian woman and and we all know that that is judged on on a daily basis so she's possessing all of these things that are, are not traditional and i wonder how she feels about someone judging her based on that but then again she doesn't have to worry about that because she is a privileged person so in my opinion her saying that i wouldn't hire somebody like that she was saying that based on her own privilege and that's a problem for me so that's where she lacks the knowledge she can't step outside of her own privilege of being somebody who's well off and doesn't have to worry about getting a nine to five and that's the problem that i have it's nothing else. None of the other things you said about her her weight or her lack of melanin <laughs> or whatever. Like, it's that's irrelevant. I got a problem with all that shit. I mean, I got a problem with all of it, but I do agree. I mean, the thing about it is she hasn't worked with traditional 9 to 5 yet. So, but she Ashes? Did. Damn it, look. Okay, anyway. We all held a late. Damn it. I can't drink if it. If y'all see. I get sick. You won't. 
<coughs> and if you guys, I mean, we out here on the lake, so if you guys hear any wind or anything like that, just know that it's because we're enjoying our fucking day, all right? I hope you're doing the same. But the thing about it is... Why are you so... Why are you saying it so aggressively? Because like people be like, oh we, my god, we're enjoying our day. Come on, people be like, I can't hear, her. I can't hear. Her. Like, look, no, they can hear us. We rock with y'all, but look, damn it, rock with us, all right. But look, with Raven, <laughs> with Raven Simone, man, you know, this is it'd be a different. It's a first, first slip up, because I mean, everybody, she's young, and I, you know, I'm young, and you're young, and we all get, we all make mistakes. We I'm all wise though. Right, I'm, well, I'm, Raven, look. Raven and Simone and I are actually the same age, and she's she's right, twenty. Really? She's twenty nine, actually, so uh -huh. she's a couple months older than me. I'll be twenty nine in a month. So is that bad or good? Shit. But and what I'm saying is that I feel that I am wise, you know. So I, I'm happy you brought that point because people do forget because she's on the pl this platform and she's on the View, which is kind of weird because that actually is a show for like older women. The demographics is older middle, women. Middle America white women That's middle like, aged what middle aged women and middle honestly. america middle america women mostly like women who are stay at home moms because it is a daytime show but i, I wouldn't necessarily pigeonhole it to be a white uh show because they have had like you know at least two um women of see color. and that's the thing she's doing too that's why she's getting heat because they have a certain they usually have about four women and they all come from, I think back in the day, I remember when I was a kid, Barbara Walters was on the show. Yeah, I think she put it together. She created the and show. she actually would do the whole, like, uh, the whole theme at the beginning, say, hey, when I, I sat down in my office and I was thinking of a show that I could do that brought all women from different walks of life. So basically, her dream was to take women with different type of views and put them on the same right. show, and it's the view. Yeah. So, like, Raven Simone's coming out, out of pocket. My baby Simone, baby, look, you're a black woman. You are a, black, a young black woman. They got whoopee for the old black woman. You are supposed to represent the young black woman, but you are alienated. You're whoopee alienating for the them. Mid middle aged black woman. But look, she's alienating yeah, them. Yeah, That's why the old I girl, agree. another thing that happened, the other girl that responded, she said, Yeah, I could be King Conquisha. I no, take I that. I didn't hear that. I take that as her saying, "Hey, Raven, you in my fucking lane. I'm supposed to be here for the white women. I'm supposed to be here for the young white women. You supposed to be here for the what's name? Let me go ahead and snatch that back about you. I could be King Kong Queen. <laughs> and Raven, being so either brainwashed or just being whatever the fuck she is, couldn't even see that and went along with it. Was like, okay, well, we, when we put when we when we go get Kiki Palmer and put her on this motherfucker." Then what you gonna do? Because she's she not gonna be cool. Yes, because she's smart. She she I like how she does interviews too because she's she's real, she's organic, she says how she feels, but she says it in a way where she's not offensive to people. And I think that's that's the gift that you need to have. But and she's chocolate. And she's beautifully chocolate. But what I uh, I'm saying about Raven Simone because I wanna get off of this and get into just hold the whole thing about uh ethnic names in general. But I think I'm saying about Raven Simone is like I like that you call up that she is young and I think people do forget that I think that when you're young you don't always think before you speak right and I think that she is saying how she feels in the moment without having a lot of knowledge behind it and I wish that she would you know because like myself and many of the women that I know who are in the same age range as Raven Simone you know we there are a lot of us out here there who are wise and we can speak up and say things in the correct way and I wish that she would represent that but I also have to remember that it is very important to for everybody to know that just because she is a black young woman doesn't mean she represents every black young woman in America. One black person doesn't represent all. See, not only that, she's on the View. It's a difference. But you can't. You have to be you yourself. To represent us on the no, view. you can No black person should not feel compelled to represent all black. People. Not only. Not more importantly. It's because black people aren't all the same, and that's the problem. That's one of the problems that we have in a society is that people think we're all alike. When yes, we we are a culture of people who have similarities, but we all are very unique people, and we see things differently. We have different walks in life and different views, and she does have a different view clearly. Now, do I wish that view was a little wiser? Absolutely, but I'm not gonna pitch and hold her and expect her to speak for me. I can't we don't have similar experiences. So it, it, it's a very like thin line between like you know, speaking, speaking for your community and not being discriminatory. The bottom line with that is that she was being discriminatory and she had a lot 
lack of awareness of what the hell See, she was you trying to give her too little. I think you gave her too benef- too much benefit of doubt. And I would have gave her the la- that same benefit of doubt other than the fact that we both saw that her father, which managed her, uh, he didn't manage her now, he managed her for the time that she was a kid and right. growing up. He's a very wise man because, like, you know, a lot of times, you know, the, the, the we apple. We don't know him personally. So but the, look, the apple doesn't far too fall doesn't fall too far from the tree you know what i mean and he, so basically he said you know look i love raven small she's my daughter but she says dumb shit and basically i'm i'm i'm, I'm improvising but he said basically like she's kind of even the dumb shit she said is fucking up my shit basically he wrote a, a book he wrote a, he wrote a book he wrote a book and they were saying like you know what sir mr simone we really like the book but we really you know because of what raven said you know, we really don't want to really rock with you. He's like, I haven't managed her. This is what he said. I haven't managed her in 10 plus years. She's a grown ass woman. And yes, she says stupid shit sometimes. But I just feel like that's the fact, that's the part of her growing up. So it's not like that she didn't have people around her who she could be like, you know what, or that she wasn't raised in a place where they were like, you know what, Raven, this is how, I think that she is really is living. She got a taste of the twat. She uh got, oh she got her damn, she got uh she's eccentric she is what she wants to be when it fits her because she got a ghetto ass hairstyle in the head okay now you're being discriminatory i mean this is be real what, though what does ghetto mean ghetto to me i'm sorry not to all of you even though some of you might agree a black woman a black woman with red hair that's not she dyed right it's not dyed i mean it is dyed her is her is dyed right you don't well, even know that. what you're talking about. A black woman with red hair, man. Cause I'm just thinking, like, you know, it's not nothing bad about it because I and fuck what with. What are you talking about then? Because I fuck with the artistic people who do that. And I, I mean, what but it's some people who do. It's two different. Put it like this. I want y'all to understand this. Try to feel where I'm coming from. When you walk down the street and you see that haircut, it's two separate thoughts that you should think. For one, this person might be a poet, might be some type of uh, artist, some type of some shit like that is really out there. They should think. They should think that a person is is creative and they are self expressing themselves. I don't care what color they are. I don't care what age they are because that's about the bottom line. I don't, I'm not discriminating about age. I'm, 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 I'm discriminating on mindset. Like I said, you can have the artist, and you can have the, the person mindset, who like like you want to try something different. And then you can have a chick like ah uh-uh, ah girl, I'm finna go okay, get my so shit done now right now, like girl. Ah ah. Uh-uh. Like what you heard, like no, because that is I'm black. Right now. It exists. She don't even know that it fucking exists. I know it exists. We can drive to that shit right now. We're on the lake. Well, we on the 63rd at the lake. I could drive right now to where that motherfucker got blue hair and green hair. That's but they not like Raven. She's still being creative. I don't care who she is. I don't care what background she comes from. You have your own biases and you're being discriminatory towards your own people based on whatever the hell. Maybe it's your own experiences. But I don't care what background they come from. Whatever they choose, however they choose to wear their hair or wear their clothes is self-expression at the end Allow of the day. Me my disclaimer. Period. Uh, I don't let me get my, my disclaimer is this. Some of our women, yes, black women, and I'm only talking about this because I'm black, because a lot of all women actually go through this, but some of our women aren't happy with themselves. Now, as far as black women, I feel like a lot of it comes from the media and they're taught not to be happy with themselves, so they seek otherwise. So yes, we do have a group of them to do that, and they are happy because they just want to be loved. Like, listen, listen, listen. listen let me finish. They just want to be loved. And they just want to be beautiful, and I totally understand that. But somewhere along the line, that shit gets twisted, and they become lesser than themselves. They don't do it just to be like themselves. They do it to be accepted. And that's all I'm saying. Now, what would you say about the article? I read the article the other day that said you can't be you can't be a pro black man if you're not a pro black woman. And it makes me think of you. And it's, it's kind of disappointing, to be honest with you. Get the fuck out of here. How can you? I'm well, pro black woman. Say about that. I'm pro black woman. You can't be if, if you're putting barriers in, in like disclaimers of like what you think a black woman should be. Like that's not possible. Like so, it's like extremely disappointing, and it, it literally makes me like sick. Let me be honest with you. If I dye my hair blonde, I got waves and a, and a nice clean cut. If I, had, if I dye my hair blonde, what would you think? I would think it's, it's the way that you choose to express yourself. You're asking the wrong person because I'm a person that really wholeheartedly believes in people living life the 
way that they want to and expressing the, themselves the way that they choose to and not what other people think they should. So you date a nigga with blonde hair? Would you date a nigga with blonde it's hair? It's not about what my preference is or yeah, what I do. No, that's what I'm asking you. I'm telling point. you based on my that's preference. That's not the point. It's, that's not the point because it's irrelevant if, if whether I would date him or not. What's most important is if that person who chooses to dye their hair is doing it because that's what they want to do. You answered the question, though? That's the most important would you, thing. Would you date him? I'm not answering that question because that's not the mo that's not relevant. That's not relevant to the topic as a whole. Because if I answer that question, basically what that says is that people should tailor themselves according to what other people like, and that's not the point. That's not the point of life, and that's not the point of existing. I just want to know why or why existing. not. Why or why not? Would you not? Date that's him, not the point, though. It's not. I just answer the question, though. No, I'm not gonna answer that question because, because you know I'm going with this shit. Because you know what it is. You no, know you would not date a nigga with blonde hair. I know hair, exactly like, what the fuck where is you're he going on? with it, because, and that's why I wouldn't answer it. It's because people tailor the way they look based on what other people like or dislike, I and I think that that's. I don't feel like I do that though. But you telling you're basically saying by judging how what how people wear their hair that they should. I'm just telling you, you would feel the type of way about a nigga who was blind with blind. You hair. don't know what I would feel. Would you fuck with him? And I'm not gonna express that because it's right, not well. important to the context of this conversation. Alright, well I'm gonna express it, and I would not fuck with no nigga. I mean, I would not fuck with no. Because that's your preference, right? Because that's what you don't like, but that doesn't mean that it's wrong. I didn't say what. You did just say it was wrong, care. You feel like because she doesn't she she doesn't like herself and she's looking for except you don't know are you a black woman I mean, I mean, so why are you speaking so strongly about it like i don't speak about black men what they think i only speak about my own experience and you should do the same oh, you speak, because hey, when you about do other things it clearly well, shows we had our show about omar johnson we, talk, we had our show I'm and you guys go check our show we talked about Omar John, we talk, actually the show was about I think, dr boyce Watkins versus tiny easy coats but then dr boyce Watkins said that he feel like he would have gave the award to, to Dr. Umar and I, like always Ivory has very strong uh, comments and uh, commentary about Umar Johnson so like yeah I, mean, I do and that's based on your opinion the, your preference no 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 because women love him it's some women love him he fucked the stripper the stripper loved him right? and that's fine so, for them I'm but not it just was your it was your personal preference right but that doesn't and I never I always say it like I think he's a very smart man I think that what he does is important but I wouldn't but I'm not gonna Right, so you can answer that, so why you can't answer about the blonde haired nigga. No, no, no. I'm answering in the context you said you feel like I like you I'm know telling you I that. was downing him or something. No, I No, I didn't say facts. that, but you said your I facts. said that he lied to the public and told women they should be celibate because he's celibate and he's not and he wasn't celibate because he was fucking a stripper. Like that's what I and I feel like that's a problem to lie to the public. That's what I am standing on. Like that's that's a moral thing. It doesn't have anything to do with like Oh, I don't like the fact that he wears his hair blonde and like because that's wrong and he hates it. I'm not. I, I would never say that. Now, do I? Now, okay. If you want to, you don't like that he wears. You don't like that he wears that sheet leeway, ones. Right. And I was gonna say that if you want to give some leeway, do do I think that would I be attracted to a man who wears a dashiki? No. Air Force Ones. Is it wrong? No. But. Okay, so are you attracted? Am I attracted to it? No, but is it wrong? No. All right, so all That's the men out there, I mean. all the but men like out there. Like you said, it's women. That, if there's there's women out there, they probably they, they do date men with blonde hair because it's not wrong. So for you to say that, and there's men out there that date, and then they, you, they then, but then you don't like, but then you, then you get upset about wrong. down low niggas. But that, so now you going on a whole so when, other like. I'm just trying to put it together, guys. It you see a nigga with blonde hair, think down low. I don't agree with that. I, I agree. All right, and damn it, I'm eccentric myself, but some things I just like. Damn. Okay, back to it though, man. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna break, we're gonna, all right, we'll go ahead and bring it back to context though. But, so my final thoughts. Like you, you just like to do these sensationalism and not because you actually believe it, which is like not like cool at all. That's not true. Like you just be saying stuff. Huh? What I just say? I say my final thoughts is this and maybe this wraps it back into what I was thinking but Raven look I love you I used to have, I used to have a crush on you actually when I was a kid you know but now you grew and I've grown and now it's not a script anymore and it's come out the top of your head and I really don't agree with the person you've become all right, Raven. You're on the limelight. You got a soapbox. 
you're supposed to represent better than you're doing so as far as employment people's employment should be based upon their resumes which is why people pay people so much money to even put them together resume writers and builders and people go through the time actually doing the doing the activity so that they can put them on a resume shit like that should be taken into consideration way before fucking I don't give a fuck if it was fried chicken Keisha Briggs I don't give a fuck if that was her name if fried chicken Keisha Briggs had 3.7 she did her damn thing and studied to get 3.7 so she get her career she should be given her career and i was just reading an article because you know i come from a uh, a context of actual facts when i speak i was reading an article about women who have are actually very successful who have ethnic names we got oprah clearly ethnic we got beyonce clearly ethnic we got condoleezza rice who was the secretary of the state clearly that's an ethnic name we have um Aisha Tyler, the lady that's on the other daytime show, clearly an ethnic name. We have um, many women that I've worked with throughout my professional life who are, you know, black women with like quote unquote, you know, ethnic names who have been very successful and geniuses at what they do. You know, I have family members and like women who are like, you know, who and who thrive. And so I think that maybe she doesn't know a woman like that. And I feel sad for her for that because if you know, of, of various black women who have names that are beautifully different and then maybe you would have a different perspective so Raven I would I would say to you maybe you should increase your circle of women because there are a lot of beautiful black women out there who have names that are excellently different and they are thriving in this world so definitely and one last thing too man I was just thinking about it off the top of my head I forgot who said it but like they basically brought it into great context. They said, when you see a Chinese person and you look at the resume and it says Jin Ling, you expect Jin Ling to be Asian. I don't say Chinese, I don't, I don't I really know the difference between Chinese and Japanese names. I don't know. So I say Asian. But you see Ming Li, Jin Lang, you see stuff like that. You don't say, oh my God, what the hell is that? You expect them to be Asian. And they show up. They're usually Asian, and they get consideration for the job. That's a really good point. You should look at this. You should because see their name represents their culture. The rep, their name represents their culture. Yeah. You should look at the the damn application and say, "God got my Keisha." Well, God got my Keisha is probably black, and that's but okay. That's okay. And that's Jackson. God got my Keisha Jackson, or Brown, or Williams, or Smith. Well, last names we're not gonna go into that because you know that most yeah. of our last, most of our last names are right. derivative of that's slave names. That's your culture master. too. That's but part of slave, culture. It's a slave master. Yeah, and it's part of culture. It's part of the damn culture because those same Africans that you took, they didn't name their kids Brian and Joseph and Dean. They were naming their kids shit that had meanings, but now they don't know what those meanings are anymore. So they kind of off the top of their head go what closest to some shit like that though. So that's what we gonna do man at the end of the day uh at the end of the day you know that's how we feel and if you you know if you if you if you agree if you disagree don't forget to drop that comment we will respond back don't forget to share this video spread this around man because we need to uh we need to cleanse the earth of uh, unhealthy thoughts man and the people who are doing cleanse it yourself of unhealthy right thoughts. and don't forget to uh don't forget to also subscribe to under the influence cocktails and consciousness. Signing off. Bye.